Good evening. The Perth fisherman who reeled in a giant bull shark close to where Perth teenager Stella Berry was fatally attacked has spoken exclusively to Nine News. Kai Boyle believes shark numbers in the Swan River are on the rise. And while his catch and release has drawn outrage, fisheries say he's done nothing wrong. He's been fishing WA's waterways as long as he's been walking. But Kai Boyle's latest catch... Oh, someone grab the car with me. ...sending shockwaves across Perth. It's the biggest bull shark I've caught in Western Australia. The 21-year-old hooking a three-metre beast of a bull shark Thursday morning in East Fremantle while Samson fishing with mates. That's a big shark for the river. Pulled in less than two kilometres away where Stella Berry was killed last week. The same species of shark believed to have attacked the team. I've never been shaking that much in my life. When I hooked it, I realised how big it actually was. An hour and a half fight to reel it to shore. When I first when I first grabbed its tail, it actually threw me about three metres um, from the force of its tail. Kai Boyle then releasing the debarbed circle hook, taking a quick pick and letting the shark go within a minute. You can't stop a big shark eating your bait, really. It brings a lot of backlash on me. Fisheries say he's done nothing wrong. The law requires anglers to release bull sharks that size. But the vision has enraged both environmentalists and others, angry that he freed the predator back into the river near where the 16-year-old schoolgirl was fatally attacked. I honestly don't think it's the same shark. I do not agree with killing sharks at all or hurting sharks. The experienced fisher says he's encountered rising numbers of bull sharks in the river in recent years. Years. Swan River is bull shark breeding ground. Kai Boyle's catch prompting the closure of Fremantle beaches in the Swan River. Tonight, still shut. Fisheries have to go out there and put some effort in, I think, and go put some tags into some sharks in the river and monitor them. Zarisha Bradley, Nine News.